the mysterious interstellar visitor, Oumuamua, that once sped through our solar system is back, this time heading straight for Earth at an unprecedented speed. Scientists are alarmed, issuing urgent warnings that Oumuamua will crash into our planet in about two weeks, and nothing can stop it. Are we facing a potential catastrophe? Could this be the end of our world? Join us as we delve into the urgent alerts surrounding this strange visitor on a collision course with Earth. Chapter 1. The Discovery of Oumuamua In 1837, an unknown object reached a significant cosmic milestone, crossing 1,000 astronomical units away from the Sun unnoticed by anyone. For over a century, it silently advanced towards Earth, evading detection by scientists. Then, on October 19, 2017, astronomer Robert Warrick in Hawaii spotted it through a telescope at the University of Hawaii. A faint, thin streak moving steadily across the sky was captured, marking the first recorded interstellar visitor. Warrick named the object Oumuamua, meaning a messenger from afar in Hawaiian. Although discovered in Hawaii, Oumuamua sparked global interest, prompting astronomers worldwide to observe it through telescopes. It also caught the attention of researchers at the SETI Institute, who hoped to find signs of extraterrestrial technology associated with the object. But what does Oumuamua look like? Described as a reddish, cigar-shaped rock, it's about 4 miles wide and 10 times longer than it is wide, a shape unlike any known asteroid or comet in our solar system. While some suggested it could be an asteroid or comet, its behavior defies classification. Asteroids are small rocky bodies orbiting the Sun, while comets are large objects made of dust and ice. However, Oumuamua's speed, 196,000 miles per hour, sets it apart, traveling over 100 times faster than typical objects within our solar system. This shocking revelation has left scientists grappling to explain this enigmatic visitor. Whether it's an asteroid or a comet, let's explore the distinction between these two celestial objects. Comets are primarily composed of ice, while asteroids are made of rock. Initially, scientists classified Oumuamua as a comet, but when it zipped past the sun without displaying the usual cometary traits, they reclassified it as an asteroid. However, this classification was questioned when measurements showed a slight, unexpected acceleration, which hinted that it might be a comet after all. Yet, the object accelerated far more than predicted, leaving scientists puzzled and unsure of its true nature. One remarkable feature of Oumuamua was its periodic brightening and dimming every 7.3 hours, indicating its rotation around its short axis. This pattern suggested a more rigid and durable structure than the fragile, snow-like material typical of most comets. Its dark red appearance resembled that of moons in the outer solar system, likely due to space radiation. But could Oumuamua be more than just a natural object? Some speculated it might be an alien or even a Russian spacecraft. Given Russia's technological capabilities and the object's iron-rich coloration, as noted by Dr. Mech, an astronomer at the University of Hawaii, the idea wasn't entirely dismissed. So, what have scientists discovered about Oumuamua? Have any satellites been able to track it and predict where it might crash? Chapter 2. Theories Surrounding Oumuamua Various theories emerged to explain Oumuamua's identity. Some believed it was simply a rock, while others speculated it might be filled with gas. However, more astonishing theories suggested it could be an alien spacecraft, raising the possibility that an extraterrestrial ship might be lurking nearby, releasing part of itself to explore Earth. But is this the truth? Let's delve deeper into these theories. Dr. Mech proposed that Oumuamua could have been flung from a distant star following a supernova explosion. On the other hand, Elon Musk speculated that it might have formed when two objects collided and fused together. Astronomers were initially excited when they discovered that Oumuamua seemed to be pointing toward Vega, the brightest star in the Lyra constellation. This star was known to have a debris disk, and calculations suggested that Oumuamua might have traveled to its current location in roughly 600,000 years. However, the idea that it came from Vega didn't hold up, as significant changes were noted in its path. Astronomers believe that Oumuamua likely encountered a new star system for the first time, given its motion around the Sun, which was similar to the speed of nearby stars. Nonetheless, there's a possibility that Oumuamua has been traveling through the galaxy for billions of years. Another intriguing theory suggests that Oumuamua is a chunk of nitrogen ice. Researchers Alan Jackson and Stephen Desch from Arizona State University proposed that it might be a fragment blown off a Pluto-like object by a massive impact. However, 
For this theory to hold, Oumuamua would need to be smaller than initially estimated. A different hypothesis proposes that cosmic rays interacting with surface ice in interstellar space could release hydrogen gas trapped in water molecules. This process, as described by Daryl Seligman from Cornell University and Jennifer Bergner from Berkeley University, would create hydrogen gas trapped in amorphous water ice. When Oumuamua warmed up as it approached the sun, the structure of the ice could have changed, propelling it forward. This theory would only be valid if the object were indeed made of ice. But there's more. Astronomers Avi Loeb and Shmuel Bialy from Harvard University suggested that Oumuamua could be a solar-powered spacecraft. They argued that its various characteristics hint at an artificial origin, possibly of extraterrestrial nature. This theory adds weight to the speculation that Oumuamua might be an alien probe. While the appearance of Oumuamua supports the idea that it originated from beyond our solar system, its true size and shape remain a mystery. No device has been able to capture a clear image of the object. Astronomers can only estimate its size based on its brightness and how asteroids and comets typically reflect light. Since no tail or coma, a cloud of gas and dust, was detected, the comet theory was not confirmed. Additionally, the repeated non-gravitational acceleration observed contradicted the idea that Oumuamua's movement was caused by being ejected from a parent object. Instead, scientists have proposed a theory involving sunlight as a potential factor in its acceleration. If Oumuamua is extremely thin, with a thickness ranging from 0.3 to 0.9 millimeters, its movement could be explained by solar radiation pressure. Some scientists propose that Oumuamua might be a light sail, a technology demonstrated in space missions like Japan's Icaros probe and NASA's NanoSail D2. These light sails use the kinetic energy of photons to propel themselves through space. Based on this idea, they suggest that Oumuamua could have traveled across interstellar space on a long journey, potentially covering at least 16,000 light years from its home system. Additionally, Oumuamua's motion closely aligns with a region of the Milky Way galaxy known as the local standard of rest, making it challenging to pinpoint its exact origin. While we still don't have definitive answers, the questions remain, what exactly is Oumuamua, and who, if anyone, is controlling it? Where is it headed next? The last time it was observed, it was leaving our solar system. Now, we're being told that it's on a collision course with Earth. But before we delve into that, let's look at how scientists tried to understand Oumuamua's trajectory and why they believe it will crash in two weeks. Chapter 3 Oumuamua's Trajectory Scientists initially considered sending robotic probes equipped with sails to intercept Oumuamua, but this suggestion isn't feasible at present. Currently, no aircraft exists that could undertake such a mission. Perhaps in the future, with projects like Breakthrough Starshot advancing, this could become a possibility. Whether scientists reach Oumuamua or not, its visit has provided valuable insights that could prepare humanity for future encounters with interstellar objects. Even though Oumuamua took billions of years to arrive at its current location, its presence is fleeting on the cosmic scale. The Milky Way galaxy is about 10 billion years old, so Oumuamua could have traveled through roughly 20,000 star systems, a modest fraction compared to the galaxy's 200 billion stars. However, considering the number of cosmic encounters Oumuamua has had, it would have likely stirred up dust and debris, allowing the stars to intermingle. As a result, Elon Musk and other astronomers believe that Oumuamua is rapidly approaching Earth. They even predicted that it would enter the Kuiper Belt this year. Despite this, no one has been able to locate Oumuamua directly. Scientists are working with the data they can gather to determine its trajectory and potential arrival on Earth. There's more to Oumuamua's trajectory that scientists describe as unconventional. They observed notable non-gravitational acceleration, suggesting that forces beyond gravity are influencing its movement. Dr. Meck outlined several potential causes for this acceleration and proposed six possible explanations. One possibility is that Oumuamua could be experiencing outgassing, a common phenomenon in comets. Outgassing occurs when a comet approaches the sun, causing its surface ice to sublimate and turn into gas. This process can provide additional thrust, altering the comet's speed and rotation. Although Oumuamua's motion resembles that of a comet, Dr. Meck noted that if Oumuamua lacked microscopic material, the presence of substantial surface dust might still affect its speed. However, the idea of it being a comet remained viable only in terms of its movement. Additionally, scientists observed wavelengths that made it difficult to detect significant dust particles. 
Consequently, no visible evidence of dust escaping from Oumuamua was observed, and the absence of gas-related signs was puzzling. While scientists had anticipated detecting significant gas emissions to explain Oumuamua's speed, their efforts were unsuccessful. No CN gas, which is commonly found in comets within our solar system, was detected. The strong upper limits set by the absence of CN gas suggest that Oumuamua was chemically unique if it was indeed a comet. Astronomers used the Spitzer Space Telescope to observe Oumuamua for over 30 hours, aiming to detect its thermal characteristics. However, they faced challenges in their efforts. Dr. Meck reported that the thermal infrared observations did detect heat emissions, but the results were inconclusive. Interestingly, the lack of noticeable results could be observed even without tests, suggesting that Oumuamua might be brighter than expected if it exhibited thermal behaviors similar to a comet. Reflectivity, which indicates how much light an object reflects, can provide details about its size, composition, and shape. Despite various theories and propositions, the true identity of this interstellar object remains elusive. So, what more have scientists discovered about Oumuamua? Is it possibly more significant than anticipated and therefore a potential threat to Earth in two weeks? Chapter 4. Beyond Your Imagination Initially thought to be an asteroid, then a comet, and even considered a potential alien spacecraft by some, Oumuamua's identity has puzzled many. Recently, a pair of American astronomers believe they have solved one of the space rock's lingering mysteries. Observations of Oumuamua during its brief visit revealed that it followed a hyperbolic orbit, a boomerang-shaped trajectory indicating that the rock was not native to our solar system but was merely passing through the sun's neighborhood and would not return. However, is this observation complete? Will Oumuamua never be seen again? An intriguing aspect of Oumuamua is its speed, which appeared to increase as it rounded the sun large bodies, like planets and stars, can give smaller objects, such as comets and asteroids, a gravitational boost that speeds them up. Yet, Oumuamua's speed, at 87 kilometers per second, approximately 54 miles per second, was three times faster than an 